What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here this morning. We're going to wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey on the Blackstone. Let's do it. So it's a beautiful day in Miami. It's a Sunday morning. We're about to hit the beach, but first we need some breakfast. Blackstone's out, so we said, you know what? Let's make some eggs and bacon. So <clears throat> I know it ain't looking beautiful right now, but this is good bacon. This is actually Smithfield center cut, thick cut bacon. Uh, it's really good. I've used it several times. And. You can fit a whole pound on here, no problem. You want to be careful here because it is very hot. <laughs> Even though it's on low, it's still hot. And I have burned myself before putting down some bacon, so be careful. So I like to put them out in nice strips, even side by side uh, just so I can cook them evenly and move them around as needed but you guys can do whatever you want they will cook either way so literally after about the one minute mark, I'm already turning them. I do not like burned bacon, especially when it's burned on one side and raw in the middle or on the other side. I turn them often. I try to keep them even. You'll see I move them around <clears throat> so I can make room to put the other ones on in the line, get them straight. And that's just the way I like to cook bacon. It also, this is the great way to see where your hot spots are on your grill. You can see the left side is much smaller than the right side. Well, guess what? The left side is warmer or hotter than the right side. So, great way to find out where your hot spots are. Another minute goes by and time to move them around. So the ones on the left are getting really small because they're cooking quicker. So we'll move them over to the right and we will move the ones on the right over to the left. So they cook nice and evenly. And then we just continue to move them around as needed. Get them nice and even, straighten them out, make them look presentable. I know, it's just bacon, it's not that serious. But it is what it is. <laughs> what can I tell you? And let me tell you, <laughs> at this point, the smell is just ridiculous. There's nothing like cooking bacon on a blackstone. And it's outside, so you're not stinking up your house. All right, these things are almost done. The ones on the right are definitely looking done. The ones on the left need a little help, but we'll get them there. And it's really only been about four or five minutes at this point. So we turn them over, check them out. You can see the sizzling coming up through the, the white sizzly. That, that's when you know it's pretty much done. At this point, if you like them crispy, leave them off for a little bit longer. If you like them not as crispy, now's the time to take them off. I like them crispy, so I leave them on just a little bit longer 
until you see that white <clears throat> sizzle coming up through. Uh, you can use a bacon press, or if not, just a spatula. Any of them that are sticking up, just press them down like so. Doesn't take much. And we'll get a close up here so you can see the, the white sizzle coming through. Look at that. Mm, that looks good. This bacon is done. All right, it is time to get them off. So let's we'll start knocking them out there, taking them off one by one. You can see if I had used better uh, spacing on the grill, I could have gotten another pound of bacon. But just eating for two today, so one pound is just enough. So bacon's off, time to give it a quick scrape, clean. Um, I know a lot of people like to use the bacon grease. I do too. It's great, but for presentation purposes, doesn't really look that great with eggs and or toast. So I clean it up a little bit. I leave a little bit on there. Time for some toast. I buttered these regular slices of bread on both sides. Just throw them down wherever you like. I, it was on pretty high heat, so I turned them down. And you will see these things cook fast. So you gotta really keep your eye on them. I mean, literally 45 seconds in and they are pretty much done on one side. And I didn't realize it till I just put the spatula on to check them right about there. And wow, they are, what? Are you kidding me? Yeah, turn that over. Look how done that is. They look beautiful, but another 10, 15 seconds, they would be burnt. So keep an eye on them. They cook fast, which is great. The quicker they cook, uh, the quicker they cook, the quicker you eat. So that's it. Another 15, 20 seconds on the other side, and they're ready to go. Toast is off. Time for the fun part, the eggs. We're gonna put down some oil, spread it out, make it nice and even. This will prevent from sticking. We're gonna get it nice and even on the griddle. And then you wanna add some butter for some flavor and then spread that out as well. We got our temperatures down pretty low. You do not want to get these too high because those eggs will cook quick, really quick. So uh, a little bit lower at this point. Time for the eggs. We give it a quick crack. Open them up. You can see I did not do a very good job of leveling this. I don't think I leveled it at all, and they're running to the back, but that's okay. They're not going too far. Um, 
and you can see how quick they're cooking. That's about the heat you want. You don't you don't want them getting too hot too fast, but you don't want them sitting there all day long either. So this is about the right heat. I'd say about medium medium uh, medium to medium low. So after they've been on for about 30 seconds or so, you want to check on them. Um, kind of move them the outer whites around so they look a little better and you can see how you know it's it's this is basically a non-stick pan at this point which is awesome and after about a minute minute and a half it's time to flip you'll know when they're ready you'll see they're solid all the way through and just flip them over and let them do their thing you can see I got a little too crazy with this one yolk is running just a tad but that's all right it'll still taste good and then you just want to check them to see um, you know obviously it's just kind of like cooking anything the longer you cook it the the more well done it'll be so if you have somebody who wants over easy uh, you're gonna test it you're gonna touch it with the, the spatula and if it's very soft and it's over easy if it's if it gets harder then it's uh, more of a you know a well done or a medium egg so in this particular case I have got two that are over easy those are mine and then I've got two that uh, need to be well done All right, so we test the last two that are well done or hard, if you will, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these are definitely hard, so um, they are ready to go. And they come off, and it is time to give it a taste. Ready for some breakfast before the beach. It's a beautiful Sunday in Miami. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. It's gorgeous outside. We're headed to South Beach, but first we needed some breakfast. Blackstone was already out, so we said, you know what? Let's make some eggs and bacon and a nice Bloody Mary. We're about to hit the beach, but wanted to make breakfast first. It's so easy, so convenient, and cooks so fast. Everybody, thank you again for watching subscribing, liking, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.